I'm making this video today because some people are asking me why is there an extra hole on the drive shaft near the wheels of my snowblower? Well, this is the hole that I'm referring to right here on the shaft. As you can see, the pin is already in one hole of the snowblower. Many people are wondering why is there an extra hole here? Now, in some snowblowers, you're only going to find a hole on the shaft on one side, but this blower here has a hole on each side. The reason why there's extra holes in there is for different traction options. So if you keep the pin through the wheel hub and the shaft then you're going to get traction from this wheel and on the other side it's the same thing so I'm getting traction from both wheels. And with both wheels locked in like that you're going to notice that it's a bit harder to turn the snowblower. So if I go to turn right both wheels want to turn and it makes it a bit harder. Same as if I go left. Now that's because both wheels are actually connected to the shaft at the same time with having both pins in the hubs like that. So what I'm going to do now is remove the pin, just simply pull the spring part of it, pull the pin right out like that. You can do this on either side of the blower if you have a hole on the shaft on each side. Now grab the pin, stick it in the other hole here, and as you can see now, the wheel hub is not locked into the shaft, which means that this wheel is not going to have any grabbing traction. It's simply going to roll off the shaft. So now by having the pin in that position, it's going to be much easier to turn your snowblower. The downside to this is that you're only going to have traction on one wheel. That's the wheel that still has the pin through the hub of the wheel. So now when I go to turn the blower, it's going to be much easier. See how easy that turns? That's all because I removed the one pin on the wheel. Now you can see that the wheel just spins on the shaft now. So what's going to happen is the wheel that doesn't have the pin through the hub of it is going to turn when you want to go either right or left. Makes it a lot easier to turn the blower when you're blowing your driveway. But like I said, you're sacrificing the traction from one wheel when you do this. Depending on your driveway, it may be okay but some people prefer having the traction from both wheels. By having the traction in just one wheel, it may tend to spin easier. So if you're not happy with having traction in just one wheel, remove the pin again. Make sure you line up the hole on the hub to the hole on the shaft. And then just reinsert the pin. Now you've got traction in both wheels again. So hopefully this video has answered your question. You can experiment with the pin in the hub of the wheel or out of the hub. Whichever way works best for you, just leave it the way it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.